What's going on, Weekend Hangover Nation? I'm your boy, Surf, and I'm back. I'm back with some more draft sleepers. Today, I'm talking about Anthony Puka Williams, a running back out of Kansas. He's 5'9", 175 pounds. Yeah, I'd say he's small, too. One of the more unique players in the 2021 draft is the speedy former Kansas star, Puka Williams. He's short. He's light. He played on a team that was utterly devoid of offensive talent, yet he accumulated 2,900 yards in just 26 games. He burst onto the scene as a true freshman, rushing for 1,125 yards, a healthy 7 yards per, oof, to go along with 10 touchdowns, which is truly phenomenal for any back, but one especially at his size, which Williams followed that season up with a slightly less impressive yet still very productive sophomore campaign. 1,275 total yards, over 5 yards per carry, with 5 touchdowns. In 2020, Williams had a slow start to his campaign, which honestly is understandable for anybody. A weird year, you know what I mean? Scratch it off as that. After 4 starts, he decided to hold out for the remainder of the season. As Puka's prospect potential goes, well, I think he's an odd athlete. He's got the size of a slot receiver, yet he's not that crazy, twitchy, jitterbug back that you would expect. One that's like, oh God, what direction is he going to go in? He's more of a one cut and go type of guy. Now, don't get me wrong. His cutting and change of direction on tape is absolutely phenomenal. And then he's got that ability just to go and outrun defenders. I mean, he's got home run threat every time the ball is in his hands. Now, that being said, Man, he's just too light in the pants to run up the middle. If you get a hand on him, he's going down. So I think there's no future for Williams as an every down starting running back in the NFL. I just don't see an avenue of that. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, but that's in my mind. I think there could be a lane for him as a possible change of pace or third down receiving back. But the problem with Williams is he's not a very good blocker, which makes putting him in there for protection a real problem. Still, I'm a fan of Williams, even if it's just for his return abilities, which he was also very good at at Kansas as well. So where is the best place for Williams to land? For my money, it's New York Jets. I think that would be a perfect landing spot for Puka Williams. They have other needs, so franchise back won't probably be addressed early in this draft. I, I can't imagine it would be. I mean, they need a quarterback in round one. They need some offensive line help. They need D line help. They need help across the board. So... I, if they do not draft a franchise running back, they're going to do it as a running back by committee. And I look at every single back on that Jets team, and I don't see a reason why Williams couldn't play and play quite a bit in year one, even as a late round pick. The nice thing about a team in total rebuild mode is there's plenty of opportunity. And that isn't necessarily the same for if you go to a contender. So, all right, guys, it's been another weekend hangover production. I'm your boy, Surf. Let's go Puka Williams, man. I'll be rooting for him on draft night. And hit us up a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Catch you guys later. Peace.